Hi guys, I'm Tamil and today I'm going to show you the full details of the new DLC Soul Hunter. So get ready to find out just what's involved. And the big change is the interlude with the Blood Mage. And this appears after you've completed Act 2. And it's an interlude which means that we'll be able to return to it even when you've finished it. So it's a new landscape and there's an observatory in the, on the horizon and also you'll have about four titans to defeat before you meet the blood mage and then you find him in a rundown regeneration chamber and his name is Oslim and if you defeat him then you'll get the dual infinity blades and I'm going to bring you my fight with Oslim in a separate video because I wanted to cover everything that's been included in this new DLC. So there's the four titans down and then you come face to face with Oslim and he has a short a conversation with you uh, which is quite funny and then it's on to the fight and he is pretty tough, he's tough when he's at a high level mine's at 5,600 and he's got nearly 400,000 health so I'll be bringing you that fight in a separate video soon so also that's been, what's been introduced is the hardcore mode and the titans have new skills now so they have spectrum attack is one a skill they've got then they've got immunity to super, so you can't use super when you fight them. There's ones that you have to do a perfect block, otherwise you get hit if you just do a normal block. And likewise with the great parry, you'll get hit if you do just a normal parry. And there's also immunity to magic, which also applies if you've got a healing ring, you can't use that either. Then there's the super fast attack titans and they do go super fast and I'll be bringing you a video about the new hardcore mode I'll go into detail on some tips to help you with that so there's new quests that appear and that this one Uriel's dream appears after the first act and what happens is you return to the quest to the act to Larioth and you'll see there you can open that chest finally and what happens is you can revisit Radrial, Soulless Radrial's room and open the chests and he's no longer there. But you do have to fight all the titans on the way to the room with the chests. And there's a new animation too with his opening the chest. So you can keep returning to the, these interludes and I think there's three or four of them after we complete the other acts. There's also been quite a few changes made to the forges and there's been new slots introduced in all the forges so we have to unlock them with battle chips but especially for the forge I reckon that's worth it and I un unlocked all four of mine when you unlock the third one then the fourth one appears and the same thing in the fusion chamber and where the, and the cauldron and so I didn't actually unlock the cauldron or the fusion chamber I didn't want to spend the battle chips but I do want to have the extra slots in the forge and also the forge timers have been reduced there's been new goals introduced there's three that I could see I believe there's supposed to be four but I could only see the three and they'll give battle chips when we complete them and you see they slash attacks and perfect parries and I've already reached a couple of those goals now. And I'm pleased to say that both characters now have new equipment and it's great that the, foot, the Vile Armour makes a return into Infinity Blade 3. And we have the armour, the helmet, the shield and also the Vile Mace as well as the blade. And I got the Vile Mace from the merchant ship so it's a bit hidden but you will come across it. There's also been an additional ring that you'll find in the store and all that equipment you'll, be, you'll find you can purchase so, and for in-game gold. And here it is in action and it looks as awesome as ever and I was enjoying using that Val Mace. Haven't seen the Val Thorn Blades yet though. And here's Issa's new equipment and it's the Wraith Stealth Gear and she's got the armor and the helmet 
and also the light sword asunder and a brace the shield and I believe mine came with the shield I didn't buy that one but I did buy the other equipment and also I discovered a serrated spear that she got given as a part of a titan drop so East is looking awesome too in her modern looking stealth armor and equipment and that looks great when you fight with it too and I'll show you that here uh, with the light sword and her new gear so I hope you enjoyed the video guys and now you've got a full idea of what's in the new DLC so there's lots to explore the hardcore mode is definitely challenging and we were looking for a more of a challenge with the fight so it's good news so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and check out my pages on Facebook and Twitter.